Hi, this is Chris with CCG Sales. Thanks for coming back. Today we're going to do a quick little tutorial on how to change colors, say like clothing color or hair color, something like that. So uh, let's get a picture here to use. And let me open up something. I found a little picture that had some good colors in it. There you go, a little devil girl. Well, that's a red there. Okay, so we're going to change the red of her top to a different color. Okay, it's actually really easy. We're going to, there's two ways to do it. You can use the selection tool or the select color range. Let's try first select color range. Okay, select color range. Okay, now you've got a choice of doing the reds, but see that we're seeing pinks in her face and we don't want that. So we can also do sampled colors, which if you look down here, I've sampled a red from her shirt. Okay. That works okay. You can still see you're not seeing her face here because we don't want to select anything on her face, but you do the fuzziness and that does the amount of that particular shade of red. See if it goes too high, you're starting to see her face in here. We don't want that, okay? So you lower that. But eh, I want to do it quicker. So the other way to do it is we can use the magic wand. Okay. I set the tolerance about fifty anti-alias. 50 is pretty good. It gets a lot of the colors but not too much. Okay, so let's just take that magic wand and click it down here. See it grabbed most of the reds. It's a 50% tolerance. But now what we got to do is start grabbing some more. So what you do with the quick the uh, magic wand, okay, just hold down the shift key. This is on a PC. I don't know what it is on a Mac. And see it gets the little plus key. That means it's going to add. So I just Click, hold down the shift key and just keep clicking it and it's going to keep adding more and more to it. There you go. It's grabbing more and I like this. It's a little more accurate and easier. Okay. Now we can zoom in and really grab some more of those fine little areas. It's just quick. Okay. Magic wand tool again. Grab the spots we missed. Ba -ba bam ba bam Grab them. There we go. And I think there was a few other spots on the other side that we missed. Okay, in that little spot. There we go. That got most of it. Now there's a few little areas in here that are just mixed or shadowed under something else. All you got to do is just grab the uh, lasso. Uh, I don't freehand it. That's a little too hard, at least on this. Let's use the polygonal, polygonal, however you pronounce that. Okay, polygonal. Okay, and again, you can click the shift key to plus, which is going to add. And since it's the polygonal, it's going to grab it in straight lines. So you just make waypoints to grab point to point. See, it's making a little line, point to point. And then go back to the original where I started at. Where the heck did I start at? There we go. Okay, see that? Grab that. Now let's grab this other little area under here. It's kind of covered with her hair, which is interfering with the color that it was grabbing, but. We'll just kind of grab. You're not really going to notice when you pull out. Okay, grab, grab, grab. There we go. Okay, so that grab that area. Let's zoom out. There we go. Now we've basically captured her whole shirt. Okay, we've got that shade of red. Okay, we didn't do her little her little horns. Alrighty, so this is the easy part. You go image, adjust, hue saturation. Okay, you want to click colorize so you can see what you're doing. Then you just choose your hue. Let's get a nice blue color. I like saying blue. Okay. And then do the saturation. Let's make that a little more saturated, a little darker. There we go. Alrighty, and it was just that easy. Let's do select, deselect. There. She got a blue shirt. Not too hard, huh? Now you can do other stuff with that. You could do skin. You could do lips. You could do hair. Whatever. Let's, since this is a little devil girl, Let's look at her eyes. She does have pretty brown eyes, but let's change the color a little bit. First, we have to select. I'm going to use the round selection tool. And you can grab. I could try to freehand this, but I'm just going to do a circle because I'm just doing this a little quicker. Now, you kind of got to think of it as a box because I'm doing a circle, so i got to get where the side edge is and the bottom edge. So it's, think of it as like a square. So I'm grabbing way down below it. Okay, let's see what we got. There we go. Okay, I'm, I'm going to make it just a little smaller than the eye. Okay, I'm moving it up and down. There we go. We're going to leave just a little rim of the color. You'll see what I'm going to do when I'm 
when I colorize it. Okay, I don't want to get the whole eyeball. Okay, now I've already grabbed into her eyelids, so what I'm going to do is grab the polygonal tool again, and this time we're going to subtract from it. So instead of doing the shift key to add, we're going to do the alt key to subtract. And again, it's going to grab in straight lines, so we set waypoints. Okay, so go across where her eyelid goes. Not too hard. Okay, back to the starting point. There, subtract it just a little bit. Let me grab a little more off of that. There, okay. Now let's do an image, adjust, hue saturation. Let's colorize so we can see what we're doing. Now let's grab and make this a nice evil yellow. How about, let's make this 60. 60, there we go. Now we've got to change the saturation because it's, it's mixing with the brown of her eyes and making it kind of a green. So let's saturate all the way up to 100. There we go, evil yellow. Okay, now let me select, deselect. Now see it left a little bit of a rim around it. That's good because if you made the whole thing yellow, the eyes wouldn't stand out as much. Okay, let's grab her other eye. Let's grab the round selection tool. Again, grab down and to the right. Okay make the circle just a little smaller than her eye. I'm going to tweak it and adjust just a little bit. Okay, we got that. Now we need to subtract the parts over her eyelid. Again, use the polygonal selection tool and the Alt key to minus set waypoints. We're going to click, clickety, clickety, click. Okay, we've subtracted that. Okay, let's find it. There we go. Okay. Again, we're going to do image, adjust, hue, saturation, colorize. Let's set this to about 60 to get that shade of yellow. Do the saturation up just a little bit. Well, not a little bit, but all the way to 100. There we go. Okay. Select, deselect. Now, we've made her eyes yellow, but it kind of made her pupils go away. So let's take the burn tool. And I've got a brush size about the size of a pupil. Let's just click that a few times to darken the middle. Click, 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 click. Okay, let's do the other eyeball. Clickety, clickety, click, click, click. Okay, now that looks kind of cool. Let's uh, back off and see what this looks like. There we go. Looks kind of evil, but let's make it just a tad more evil. Okay, let's take the smudge tool with a small brush and let's grab from the pupil. I've got this normal strength 60%. It's going to grab it but it's not going to drag it in a line. It's going to fade off as I grab it. Okay, see what I'm doing? I'm pulling down and it's fading. So it's making it kind of a V shape. Let's do it from the bottom. Let's do it from the top. Again the other eye. Bottom. Top. Look at that. That is an evil looking eye. It's giving me the evil eye. Let's back off and see what this looks like. Wow, that looks pretty creepy. You can make snake eyes, alien eyes, something like that. Any hoozles, there you go. That's how to change color. It's not that hard. Just select it with either the select color range, or I like to do with the magic wand and then set the tolerance and then just go through and clean up the extra spots. Well, there you go. That's selection and colorizing. It's just that easy. Once again, this was Chris with CCG Sales. Thanks for uh, tuning in. And if you uh, could thumbs up and comment and all that other good stuff, let me know. We're trying to get my channel to a 1,000 subs and hopefully become a full partner, and then we can do some other fun stuff. Alrighty. So once again, Chris with CCG Sales, thanks, and have a great day. And I'll tell you what, those yellow eyes are really creeping me out. <laughs>